is called to the bullpen, where the Cubs deliver the advice you never knew you needed until now. Let's go to the pen where Brad Wick and Rowan Wick are warmed up. Hey, do we sign another guy? I hope he throws fuzz. Yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> Bullpen. Oh, hi there. My girlfriend just got a new job out of the country, but we're going to try to stay together despite the distance. You guys travel a lot and are away from your significant others often. Any advice for making long distance relationships work? So me and my wife did uh, distance for like a year and a half or so, and I'm not gonna lie, it was extremely hard. I just tried to call her as much as possible, FaceTime, you know, flowers or a card here and there. You know, something to just brighten her day up a little bit. Yeah, I can attest to that. Um, I've had long distance girlfriends, but that's why I'm currently single. I would say, uh, you know, writing little notes, that sort of thing, being cute, being spontaneous. I mean, if you love somebody like that, I mean, you, you just find a way to make it work. For sure. So it sounds like uh, you and long distance relationships don't really get along, what happened? I mean, I guess the distance just got the best of us. Maybe she just wasn't the one. True. <laughs> My man. Bullpen. Hello guys. I currently have a phone that's part of my family's telephone plan. I don't have to pay for it, which is nice, but I'm bothered by one thing. As part of the plan, my mum has the ability to check on our locations at any time. She's constantly monitoring what me and my sister are doing, and I feel like I don't have any privacy. What should I do? Yeah, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. Okay, this is what I would do. If I was making some money, and I had money to pay for my own phone bill, but I still wanted to be on my family's plan or whatever, maybe I like take the whole bill, divide by four, and then pay a fourth or fifth or however many plans are on that bill, you know? So maybe she doesn't have to monitor you anymore since you're paying for your own bill. Or maybe you can just leave that phone at home, right? If you do have two, right? You might, you might be balling. You might be able to get like get a, phone. a phone from your parents and then a phone for yourself. But if you ever get in a sticky situation or maybe you like blow out your tire or have a wreck in the middle of the night, that might be kind of a good thing to have that stuff no. on. Your mom's going to come save come you. Come save you, yeah. Bullpen. Hey guys, help me out here. I don't believe dinosaurs ever existed. I think they were simply invented so that people like Steven Spielberg could make some great movies like Jurassic Park and get loads of money. My wife tells me that fossils, bones, etc. have been found. But I tell her that it was just special effects people burying plaster of Paris replicas. What do you think? I do love a good conspiracy theory. There's a lot of people out there that believe a lot of different things. I'll sit down, I'll listen to what they have to say. If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own to opinion. Their own opinion, for sure. But as far as like bones go in the dirt, like it's a real thing. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to not pay attention to fossils, you know? Yeah. Whenever they find a giant skeleton under the ground, it's probably alive at one point. Yeah, I mean, I trust those scientists. Same. They're a lot smarter than I am. Same. For sure. That's why I throw a baseball. <laughs> Open. Hi, just looking for a bit of advice. I went out with a group of friends for dinner the other night and when the bill came there was a lot of debate over how much each person should be paying. I thought it seemed fair if we just split the bill between us instead of trying to figure out what each person owed. But that made some people very upset. What do you think? Split the bill evenly or have each person paying their own share? Thanks. I'm cutting it even. I go, I go eight ways. Y'all showed up, y'all had a good time. We drank, we ate. Maybe take a peek around the table. If you got a guy there that doesn't drink, then maybe like tell the waitress or waiter, this is what I had, this is yeah. what this guy had. I mean, yeah, if he had a side salad and didn't drink, and then my man over here had some lobster and yeah, three true. glasses of wine. If everybody had a drink and everybody ate, 
then split everything eight ways. Or you could just ball out and pay for it. Just take out the tab. You got it. It's the last safe way. You got it. All right. I'm coming to eat with you. Great questions, Cubs fans. If you ever need some help, you know what to do. Make a call to the bullpen.